Welcome to Mastermind with Maggie. Maggie Chula is a psychic channel for the Akashic Master Teachers. Together, they are experts on spiritual healing and helping you connect to your source of light, your soul. Join in a mastermind, resolve your problems, and create goals for the future. Build action steps that empower you to create your life in partnership with your soul wisdom. Problems can be on any subject, health and well-being, relationships, spiritual, emotional, or your connection to your soul. Manifesting your goals can be simple and easy. Join in the discussion, mastermind solutions to problems, create goals and action steps, then move forward to a life full of possibilities. We invite you to come with your problems and leave with a plan. My name is Maggie Chula, and I am a master teacher of spiritual healing techniques and tools. I am also a channel for the Akashic Master Teachers, and these teachers are beings of light. They are pure spirit form. They have chosen to not incarnate on a planet or experience a life separate from their soul's existence at this time. These teachers and I work in partnership in a mastermind, and our goal is to help expand the human conscious understanding of who we are as divine beings of light, learning how to create an abundant life here on planet Earth, an abundant life full of health, happiness, and joy. And on this show, we discuss life's problems. I invite you to come on the show and share with me your issues, and your concerns, concerns of the day. Then we'll brainstorm solutions and possibilities, potential ways to move through these concerns, these issues, these problems. We'll share steps to help you move forward, building your life in alignment with your own divine counsel of light. I know the truth of these words, and I am here through my own life experiences and through my connection with these beautiful beings of light to share this wisdom and knowledge with you. So I ask you to think about this. Do you ever wonder what life is like beyond your experience here on earth? What life on earth is all about? Why are you here? What happens when you die? Or would you like to know how your beliefs and thoughts are influencing your well-being and your physical health? Do you have physical limitations that are causing you distress? Come talk to me. I know how to work through them. Learn ways to change your limited thinking and start to create endless possibilities. Or the other thing I can do that is very intriguing for most people is, would you like to pick a spiritual teacher, someone who no longer exists in a physical body, and ask them a question, develop a relationship with them, receive guidance, dialogue with them, and with me to help you digest and understand their wisdom. Now, you can talk to them. You don't have to be with me. And our whole point in this show is to teach you what masterminding is. It's evolved in so many different forms. And I know many people get into mastermind groups. And that's where you have a group of people and you are all focused on helping each individual within the group move forward in their dreams and goals because you understand that to build this mastermind means you're bringing together a synergy that's greater than the sum of the parts. But I want you to be able to do any of these things, any of these things. This show was created for you. I am a psychic channel. I have worked with these master teachers since I was very young. They have helped me create endless health and well-being in my life, and I'm ready now. I can take it on and help others. I do help others in private sessions, and more and more I am also working with businesses. 
But this one, this show is here every single week live um, at 11 o'clock my time because I'm in the central time zone. And I picked this time on purpose. First of all, Monday is a really good day to just start to plan out your week. When you get into the flow of planning, which I am hoping that you do as you follow me on this show and as you start to get into the rhythm that the master teachers and I are sharing, 11 is also that master spiritual partnership number. And I really love the vibration of 1111. So we are on live during that time in my time zone. Now you don't have to listen to this live in order to get into the vibration of these master teachers and the vibration that they're sharing. They are letting me know and want you to know we're doing this a little different than we have on some of my other radio shows. I have had many radio shows Um, A couple were talk radio, and we were able to answer questions. Now, on this show, we are not currently set up for calls, but they are looking at building that platform. So we're not set up to take live calls right now, but I am starting to connect with people, and I will be bringing people on the show. We have to know ahead of time that you're going to be doing that, though. So that's why I invite you to send me a message uh, to like my business page on Facebook, Maggie Chula, Psychic Channel and Spiritual Teacher is my business page. If you put the like there, send me a note to Maggie Chula, I will answer you. That's that's what I do. Or you can go over to MaggieChula.com and I have a contact page there where you can also send me an e- email. Now, the goals for this program is for you to come with a problem and leave with a plan. So masterminding is built on the principle, two or more people working together create a synergy and intelligence greater than the sum of the individuals in the group. That's what we're doing here. And that masterminding, your goals can be simple and easy. So join us. Let's work together in a mastermind to solve life's problems and create new goals, as well as action steps to help you continue to move towards a life full of possibilities. Now, this show, very special show, because I I did not know this when I was setting up the topics, but this is a full moon and it is the summer solstice. So this is the eclipse of intense energy right here today. And what I had put down for our subject is We need to mastermind together to talk about this phenomenon. I want something new now. You can look online. You can go to the news, um, go wherever you want to go, or even within your own feelings, and you will have that, this feeling of, I want something new now. That's what we're here to talk about, the concept of a mastermind allegiance that's needed more than ever. As you awaken to the many ways you do control your environment, you realize that with the proper training and tools, you can master your mind and create an abundant, very fulfilling life with grace and ease. So in this different energy that's brewing all around us, in this energy and vibration that shares, I want something new, it seems as if the world is on fire with this desire. Now, what this new thing is, I've I've talked to a lot of people. I work privately in sessions with people. I teach two different courses right now. During um, Tuesdays, I'm teaching intuitive training and then a spiritual mediumship training uh, for people who want to do this um, as a business. And then on Wednesdays, I'm teaching about the Akashic vibration. So that's the vibration of the source of all that is. And in that source, in that understanding that we are all connected, there is very, very strong anomaly going on of change. Now, it's been brewing. Many of us have been talking about change for years. But this energy right now is, okay, now it's time to take the sledgehammer and say, boom, we're done with that. We aren't going to do that anymore. And while I feel this vibration too, just as much as you do, 
I think even the animals are showing. They're beginning to feel it also. Let's fight back. Let's stand up for who we are. That's fine. That's good. But on this show today, we're going to start to look at some of the reasons this could be happening and what are some tools you can take from this show so that you absolutely do move forward and you know that you are creating this life with grace and with ease. All right. Ah, so taking a breath and saying, I do want something new. You want something new. We, all of us, are looking for that brand new thing. But let's do it in a way that shares. We honor and respect each other. I realize that you are a unique being connected up to the light of God just as I am. And you have your soul's timeline that's saying, hey, time for a change. And I have mine also. But how do we do this together, working together, staying in a state of knowing? You and I are connected. What we both want is connected. We can all have peace and calm and tranquility if that is our goal. And for those of us that do not have that as a goal, we're going to blanket you with love and light. We're going to throw all the light in the universe at you to say, hey, maybe this isn't the place for you because the light has decided and more than 50% of all the people who are listening or all the people in the world have said, yeah, we believe in the light and we want to bring the light. We love this earth. So we're staying here. And I'm coming back. And I hope you come back with me as we talk about some of the ways you can be affected and some of the things you can use to help you feel once again in your power. So come on back after the break. Free your mind. Expand your soul. Om Times Radio. IOM FM. The number one reason girls drop out of school in sub-Saharan Africa is lack of access to feminine hygiene products. The Pads for School Girls Project, an outreach of Humanity Healing International, is changing this paradigm by setting up sewing programs at schools, teaching girls a vocational skill, while producing the reusable pads that help keep them attending classes. The girls pay it forward by making and giving pad kits to other girls in need. To learn more, visit HumanityHealing.org. Humanity Healing is where your heart is. Matt Connerton here. Join Jen Coffee and I twice a week for Matt Connerton Unleash, a political talk show that's a little different than what you're used to. No liberal or conservative agenda here, just an honest dialogue about truth and how things really work in the world of politics. Matt Connerton Unleash, every Tuesday and Thursday night at 11 p.m. Eastern on Ohm Times Radio. Hello, join us, Lisa Berry and Michelle Carter, every Monday at 1 p.m. Eastern Time for the Mindset Makeover, What's Possible? Get ready to become present, clear, and unstuck and start living fully, led by your heart. While you listen and feel this transformation through vibration of word, sound, and song, you'll open up to what's possible and experience your shift. Are you stuck? Have you tried over and over to stop an addiction, let go of self-sabotage? Do you have anxiety attacks or anger issues? Do you want to stop, let go, breathe? I can help. I have a nine-step spiritual healing path program that will lead you towards attaining balance and well-being in your life, body, and mind. Contact me. Go to MaggieChula.com and learn more. I'm here when you are ready. Feed your soul. With Waves of Consciousness on Ohm Times Radio. Oh, okay. Come on back. My gosh, I love that music. I'm going to have to get a piece of that for me. I've started to sing it all the time. All right. I just wanted you to feel this sense that I have of everything is fine. 
everything's going to be okay. But as I go through my day working as a professional psychic and healer and teacher, as I go through my day, okay, there's quite a few things. But what I'm finding from other people is it's time, it's time, it's time, it's time, it's time. It's like this huge alarm clock going off for all of us. And yes, it is time. We have talked about this new earth, the new way of being, the new, and it's here. It's time to stop talking about it as if it were like off into the future somewhere or, you know, if only we could make it to August, then we will be. No, 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 no. We're going to stop all of that right now and say, uh, it's here. It's here now. That's why this alarm clock is going off that says, I can't, what are we living the same old, same old for? How are we actually allowing such a dysfunctional time to be here in the planet, on the planet? And I have an answer for that. So the way I'm working with these master teachers is different than the way I have worked on other shows. In this way, we go into a mastermind before the show starts. And so I have access to these beautiful beings of light. Now, through the years they have come through, we have a book called Open the Doorway to Your Soul that shares, oh gosh, I think there's about 22 different masters and their messages, their teachings in that one book. We've done many more since then. But what they have shared and what they are here now today to share is that here are a couple of ways. So we're going to mastermind. Why are you feeling that way? Number one, have you ever um, had an illness? Are you one of those people who's working with something right now? Um, there are a lot of different illnesses that are popping up, things that, yes, medicine has studied, so they have some answers for you. But in many, many cases, you're going to find the answer that comes back is, well, I'm not quite sure. Because even the doctors today are tapping into a whole new level of knowing. What we know about medicine is all what we've known in the past. Anything anyone teaches you from this moment forward is about stuff that has happened in the past. Yes. How else is it happening? Some of us are going into the future and building things for there. But a lot of what we're doing and working with is stuff that has worked in the past. Now, let's face it. We've changed. There is a new vibration if you're listening to this show and if you're listening to Om Times in their stories, uh, in the articles, in any of the other shows, you can see and sense a, a change, a change. And that is because you're using more of those abilities we like to call psychic senses. You're feeling and perceiving things on a different level and it's hitting you in your gut. It sometimes makes you feel sick. I feel sick from what's going on right now. Or my gut feeling tells me. Now, those are a psychic sense. Really, they are. We tend to think of the gut feeling as our intuition because somehow it's easier to listen to your intuition. I can listen to my intuition. I know when I'm not listening to it because my body will do something. You know, fill in the blanks. You know, this this show is for all of us, okay? So they, what I want you to understand is start to pay attention to how are you reacting to things. Start to pay attention and notice it. Are you going through your day feeling fine and then something someone talks to you about stands out? Uh, one thing I notice is how often people talk about injustice. That's not fair, it seems like there's a just a top percent that has all the power. Now, these are all things that have been true in the past, but are now going away. First of all, the internet and all the different ways we can communicate together keep us now in a more balanced state of knowledge. Now that is not to say, and I am not saying that everything you find on the internet will be truthful and fully um, researched. It might not be. It could be something that someone wrote out there and that is their truth. So 
you have to take that sense of your gut feel. Go through that information and go, does this resonate with me? Do I believe this? And if you find something that causes you to be fearful, like, I feel there's a huge earthquake coming and the earth is going to split open and hundreds of people are going to die. Okay, that's that's a real fear that's going around. That is also something that gets people to go, hey, shouldn't we stop frac- fracting the earth? Shouldn't we pay attention to how we are interacting with the earth? What about praying for the earth, going outside and walking in nature. Now, fear of the earth is happening. And there are many ways we can see there are storms, super storms. There's um, lots of different things that seem to be happening that have not happened in the past. But even this I'd like to put into a context. Number one, We haven't had the internet we've had before. Two, people can take videos with their phones and share with us what's going on with them. So we do get a chance to know this. Now, this knowing is something you either tune into or not. Some people say, I'm not going to look at the news. I'm not going to read the internet. I'm not going to go on Facebook. And that's their way. Okay, that's your way. Then you're not contributing to it. Good for you. If you do that, and then you also do some of the other things we're going to talk about later, better, better for you and for us. But if you are a person who goes on and it hits you in your stomach and your gut and you just feel horrible, now listen, that can help you in some respects. And let me help you with that. That can help you if you realize You need to think on this in a different way. And you need to start to put power into how you work through your day and connect up to the fact that you are not powerless in this situation. You are not powerless in this situation. One of the number one ways you can return to a feeling of, okay, Take a breath. I'm connected again. Is to actually take a breath. Take a breath. Quiet your mind. Give yourself a chance to think about it. Give yourself a chance to disconnect from this fear, from this feeling, and start to look at it from a different level. What is it that is causing me to feel this this fear, this panic? Is it that I know someone who lives in a part of the world I'm worried about. Is that what this fear is? Is it really a worry for another person? Or is it that I see evidence around me that Mother Earth is changing, that it's warmer here than it used to be when I was younger? I used to remember being able to go outside and play and not worry about the heat the way I do now. Is that part of it? So you start to get a feeling and a sense of what are you so afraid of. Now that can take in and of itself a chance to remember, disconnect, a chance to go, okay, take a breath, take a breath here. I'm feeling fearful. I'm going to take a breath. I'm going to take a second. You know what that does also? Gives you a chance to think, gives you a chance to go, oh, I'm going to come back here into my mind. I'm going to come right back here into my mind. I'm going to roll my eyes up to the top of my head. I'm going to take three deep breaths, and I'm going to know, okay, okay, here I am. Here I am. Now let me look at this fear that's coming at me. Let me look at this feeling that life needs to change right here, right now. What else could this be? Could it be a timeline? Something that you put in place that said, when I turn 30, when I turn 30, I'm going to have this, 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 and this. And then, you know, it isn't happening. It isn't happening fast enough. Maybe it isn't happening at all. What is that that's going on? And how is that making you feel? Is it, I can't stand this election year, right? Come on, people. Let's be honest. If you live in the United States, we're going through a year of an election. We're going to elect 
the president of the United States, who will be the president for the next four years. And hopefully you care. Because this is going to take all of us together, working together for the highest and the best. Is that what it is? If that's what it is, it is going to go on. It is going to go on. But is there a way that you can help so you feel better? And the answer, of course, is yes. There are ways to feel better about this. This is where we're we're thinking, what are all these things that are going on? What is this doing? I have people who tell me shopping isn't helping me anymore. Really? So going out and shopping and filling up on things isn't helping anymore. Okay, I kind of think that that's a plus. <laughs> you know, that feeling of unfairness. There's just so many people who hold the power and we don't. You know, let's really talk about that because I personally disagree with that. I think you've never had more power than you have right now. You have the power of your voice. You have the power to speak up. You have a vote. There are systems in place. Yes, there are systems in place that need to be taken down because they were built on things that we needed in the past that we don't need now. But in order to take down things that are, were built in the past that we don't need, we have to build the bridges. We have to build the pathways. We have to build the way we're going to get to our newness. And that has been done quietly for some time. And in some cases, it's been a little louder. But just rest assured that there are pathways, there are bridges, and I'm here to talk about that. So the injustice in the world, there are people parasites who feed on others. Well, how can we work on this so that this isn't us, so that we can move forward? Those are all the topics we're going to start to look on now for what are the potentials? How are there blessings in these feelings? So we can move forward knowing we're in control, knowing we have power, and knowing that we can make a change in this world. Because we need every single one of us to be a part of this change that's needed right now in the world. So that's a lot. That's a lot to talk about, a lot to think about. I want you to come on back. Come on back. Be here with me. The best of holistic, spiritual, and conscious world. Om Times Radio, IOM FM. Om Times Magazine is one of the leading online content providers of positivity, wellness, and personal empowerment. A philanthropic organization, their net proceeds are funneled to support worldwide charity initiatives via Humanity Healing International. Through their commitment to creating community and providing conscious content, they aspire to uplift humanity on a global scale. Om Times, co creating a more conscious lifestyle. Join me, Maggie Chula, on Mondays at noon Eastern for Mastermind with Maggie. Let's work together in a mastermind. We can resolve life's problems and create goals for the future. Build action steps empowering you to create your life in partnership with your divine source of light, your soul. Manifesting your goals can be simple and easy, so come with your problems and leave with a plan. The Akashic Master Teachers and I are waiting to help you. time to read that inspiring book or that blog post you've been meaning to get to? In your busy world, how do you improve yourself and keep your life going? I'm Lisa Kay, and my Between Heaven and Earth radio show can transform your life just by listening. Be uplifted with inspiring topics, positive stories, and ideas that really work. Between Heaven and Earth radio is conscious living for your soul every Wednesday at 4 p.m. Eastern Time. Do you want to connect to your magical child? Merge your passions and creativity, unlock your imagination, and play with the angels. Come learn the Akashic Vibration process with me, Maggie Chula, and the Master Teachers of the Akasha. Together we will mastermind, exploring questions, issues, blocks, creating possibilities, then ground your creations into your current timeline. Contact me. Go to MaggieChula.com and learn more. Create new possibilities today. Your conscious lifestyle on steroids. Om Times Radio. IOM FM.
Welcome back. And so on today's show, we are talking about this phenomenon that's happening. That's I want something new. All right. We talked in this last segment about several of the things that could be coming up for you. And I've got others I haven't even talked about. But as you may be able to tell from me, my ads, listening to me in the various incarnations I have had on radio, um, I'm all about possibilities and probabilities. I'm all about let's move forward, shall we? Yeah, the past is in the past. Let's move forward. Now, I'm sitting here saying this to you and I'm on this radio show and I completely believe it, but I'm also a human being. And there have been plenty of times I wished I had had somebody in my corner cheerleading for me and saying, you can do it. So that is my passion. That's what I'm bringing here for you is a way for you to go. Yes. Okay. I can do that. Just that one little thing. So by the end of each show, I'm hoping you picked up on something, that one little thing that you can use for the week to help you move forward. So let's take that feeling of fear, that feeling of frustration, that feeling of done is done. Okay. All right. That's a huge vibrational energy and it's all around. And what the master teachers share with me is what a waste. What a waste. First of all, I mean, it's helping you because it's helping you to say, whoa, do I need a change, which is getting your attention. Hello. That's a cosmic two by four hitting you on the head saying, is it time for you to wake up right now? Is it time for you to do something else? And you're going, yes. Oh, God, please. Yes. All right. So here we are. Here we are into the other part of the show that says, I I have some things that can help you. Now, the one, number one thing I'm going to say is what I love to say, take a breath. Okay. Take a breath. Three deep breaths. Now, when I do it, of course, I do absolutely breathe in the breath of life. I do. I know I can and I do. I'm not going to go into that too much. You can go over to my maggiechula.com. That's my website. And I've got a free audio uh, workbook and audio on what I do every day to connect up. That to me is a basic. Basic understanding is you are connecting in to your higher wisdom. You're aware you are more than this life right here you have a soul. That's that's basic. That's where I start with. Now, connecting to the source of all that is, is wonderful. There are many, many teachers tell you how to do that. And I do that with my breath. I do that with breathing in, just feeling that connection to all. But I also let myself know and sense and feel. I'm also calling in guidance. I'm calling in my council of light. I'm calling in the angels, the archangels, the ascended masters, whoever is here that's going to help me because I'm going into a mastermind with them. I'm going to go sit in a silent meditation and I'm going to think about my issue and my problem. Okay, if you know me really well, (laughs) the reason I'm laughing a little bit is, my mind never shuts off. I'm supposed to tell you I'm going to go sit in silent meditation. My mind never shuts off. It's not into silence. Maybe you can tell that. And I know there are several of you like that too. So what I had to do to help me with my higher wisdom and to get my connections going is I started to create guided visualizations. It made sense to me. Ever since I was very little, I studied the mind, and these guided visualizations make sense to me. Your mind cannot distinguish between what is real in the world with your eyes open and what isn't. You're feeding your mind what your mind's going to believe. You're feeding it everything. It's seeing things. It's hearing you. It's picking up on things. So, Guided visualizations are great because they work as a way of being um, self-hypnosis. They're sharing with yourself what you want. I am a being of light and love. When I breathe in this light, it lightens up every part of my body and my body relaxes. When I breathe in, my body relaxes. The other thing I started to do as I did that more and more was build um, a little shortcut, you know, 
I mean, you technical folks, you would love this. You build shortcuts all the time. Well, this is your shortcut because if you do it often enough, boom, you don't have to even think about it. I don't even think about it now. I just take my breaths. But I know that my body goes, oh, oh, I need that light. Thank you so much. Oh, that's helping my cell. My cells feel so much better now. Yes, yes, I feel lighter. Yes, because it knows that's what I shared with it. That's what I do. Another really great thing is to go take a walk in the woods. So the main thing is that you take a moment. You take a moment. You relax. You go, I am more than this life right here. I have more going on in my universe and this life right here. This life is a story for my soul. It's a chapter in my soul's book. This is just a chapter. As I look at this from up above, I can see some things that help me. Number one, I do love the earth. I do love animals. I love trees. I love, and so then you start with that. You start to list all the things you love, all the things that you're grateful for, and that will move you into a different vibration. Now, I realize we were talking about, but I want more. I want more. I'm not happy with things. How is this helping me? Well, it's helping you because it's helping you move in to a different state of mind. You have taken control. That's right. You took control. You said, I'm not going to sit here and feel this anger, feel this sadness, feel this whatever it is you're feeling. Instead, you're going to say, I'm taking my breaths and I am taking a chill pill and I'm taking back control right here, right now. I'm doing this. Establishing power. Every time you do that, it gets easier. Every time. So let's say you are in a meeting with your boss and you have something very important to share and you're feeling like it's unfair. They never listen to you. And you're about to, if you were like me, you're about to like get so many emotions swirling inside you. Oh, that's right. There goes that tear down your cheek. That's happened to me, especially when I'm very, very work, worked up about something. Okay. What I want you to do in that moment, before that you get to that moment, is start to practice. What is it that I want to say? So think of something right now that you really, it, it, it either makes you feel anxious, makes you feel fearful, makes you just want to shout out loud, I'm not doing this anymore. Think of something. Everybody's got something. I want you to pick something right now that you're feeling that way about. I just, I'm just not going to do that anymore, Maggie. Okay, good. You've got it. That's right. Now I want you to take those breaths, you know, let's take that distance, let's go into that distant part. Remembering your soul, your soul vibration, this is just a part of that super soul that you have. This is just a part. Okay, now let's take that thing, that thing, whatever it is, is it a fear, is it anxiety, is it just somebody in your face that you like want to punch, what is it? Okay, I want you to see that person, that thing, whatever that issue is. And I want you to really give yourself a chance to see it separate from you. This is separate from you. This is not you. This isn't anything you have to react to in any kind of way. And start to take that ownership again. Oh, yeah, that's right. I'm separate from this. This is just something that I interact with. I am separate from this. So I'm going to pick something right now just as an example. And I'm going to say... It's the way we talk to each other during these elections that drives me completely mad. The whoever side you're on, whatever side you're on, it drives me completely mad that we can't seem to find a balance of respect and um, shared mutual respect for each other. Okay, so I'm going to take this. I get disappointed, angry, and upset when I see things that are going on just for people to get votes, okay? You fill in the blanks. So what I'm going to do now is see this, and I'm going to realize, oh, this is separate from me. That's right. But instead, what I want to see is, what is this all about? That's right. This country, the United States of America, is looking for its next leader. We're looking for a leader. That's a very important thing. A leader to lead us in these next four years. And it's my hope and my goal that this leader will lead us towards harmony towards understanding we as a country have so much that we can do to affect a change in the world. And I want that change to represent a country and a people that love, 
that love and understand there's more than enough for all of us. I want that to reflect that we live in an abundant world, that we are so much more than anything we've used, and there is not one challenge ahead of us we cannot handle. Together, we can handle it. So I'm going to start to put my focus on this leader of the nation that I live in and see love and purpose and a connection to their own source, the ability to listen and to hear others. These are the things I'm seeding into the future that I would like. I would like to know that people can have a dialogue and be respectful of each other where we can all listen and hear and acknowledge the other person's point of view. And then we get together just as we would in any of the businesses I had where we were creating what is our problem and how can we build something that will be the the answer to that problem. So that's what I do here even in politics. Yes, I see this. We can work together together. Everyone has an equal voice, but then someone is the leader. Somebody is the one who's in charge of saying, and now we're going to do this because we've talked about it enough and action is important. And I feel better. I feel I have made a stand. I have taken my power and I feel better. And I hope that you can do that too for whatever is bothering you. Now, there are other ways we'll talk about something else when we come back. And I just want you to know that this show is all about taking over your power that you really have and helping you move forward and build a life that you feel comfortable living in. Because we're sharing this together. So if you're comfortable, then we can find a harmony that works for us both. We can add respect and love into this world and create something for the highest, the brightest, and the best for all concerned, for all concerned, highest, brightest, and best for all concerned. So come on back. We still have more. The cutting edge of Conscious Radio, Om Times Radio, IOM FM. Are you trying to get from point A to point B and need a little advice? Connect with the counselors at Om Times Advisors. Whether you're looking for a life coach or a spiritual intuitive, the advisors participating at advisors.omtimes.com were carefully chosen based on their gifts, skills, and professionalism. Om Times Advisors, connecting you with the best advisors in the business. The name is Bond. James Bond. No, the name is Joe. The Joe Show. And we are returning back for our ninth season here on Old Times Radio. So tune in every Wednesday night, 9 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Pacific, on OldTimes.com slash mobile. You can take us wherever you go. Yeah! This is Terry Van Horn, and I want to invite you to join me for my weekly radio show, Healing Light, on Own Times Radio, every Wednesday at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. On Healing Light, we want to bring love, light, and blessings into your world. You can find out more about us at www.healinglightonline.com. Blessings. Have you ever wondered, what is the purpose of life? How can I do more, have more, be more? Do you want to talk to your angels, your higher wisdom? Have you tried? But here you are. I invite you to come take a class in the Akashic Vibration Process. Learn the language of your soul. Enhance your soul connection. Expand your soul vibration. Contact me. Go to MaggieChula.com and learn more. Let me help you interpret the language of your soul. Your Conscious Connection to a more mindful world. Om Times Radio. IOM FM.
that everyone that I seem to be talking about or I run into, they want something different than they have right now. So let me go back to at this part of the show, we're talking about things you can use today. So I want you to once again think about that. Taking your mind from what I want, what I don't have, what's bothering me and starting to say, okay, I'm taking a time out. I'm taking a mental time out. Okay, I'm going to breathe. And I'm going to tune into my mastermind. That's right. Maggie's teaching me how to do that. (laughs) So your mastermind, you get to pick. I want you to start to think about this. So meditating, praying, working with your mind in harmony is wonderful. Getting into the oneness of the source, absolutely a great thing to do. But from there, let's take it a step to, to you. So you have the source, the source of all that is. Then you have you, your soul, and you have access to all these incredible beings, all these beings that have ever been in existence. Why? They're in the Akasha. They're part of the records. That's right. Their vibration is closed. So if you're talking about um, a being that has lived before, and let's take someone right now. Um, I can't think of who's lived before people. Mother Mary. Yeah. Mother Mary is based on a person who lived, who was a mother and had a child. So if you wanted to talk to Mother Mary, you can talk to her on on two levels. Number one, the Mother Mary who exists right now, who is a pure spirit form and has incarnated in many different ways. We know her in many different names, but we call her Mother Mary. Now, or you can talk to Mother Mary, Jesus's mother. I want to talk to the woman who lost her son, the woman who watched her son get killed. That's a whole different Mother Mary, isn't it? exists and you can talk to her. That's right. Or I want to talk to um, Edgar Allan Poe. I want to write and I want to connect with people the way Edgar Allan Poe did. Yes, you can do that too. And here's what it takes. It takes you focus and the understanding. Number one, you can do it because you are connected to the source, right? So the first thing you do is make your source connection. Like I said, free on my website, shares with you how I do it. It's called, um, what do I call that? I should really write that down some way. I think it's connecting to your soul vibration. Um, Anyway, and then once you do that, now you separate from that. So you know you're connected to the highest and the best. And if your heart is open to the highest and the best, for all concerned, and specifically as I look into this fear that I have about the future, help me understand that. So looking at fear about the future, I might bring in someone like Mother Mary to say, share with me how I can find compassion for these beings. And then that's when I open up my mind, and I let this vibration come through. Now, many people can do this through writing, some people through staying in that vibration, and others, if you're me, you open your mouth and you let the words fly out. But, you know, we do things differently. All of us do. The thing is, you have access to the same things I have access to. And I would say, if there is someone that you would really like to talk to, do that. Now, here's how... um some people have done it in the past. Um, we know now that the book um, uh, Napoleon Hill wrote, Think and Grow Rich, he had a mastermind group. And he picked different people of the day, well, different business leaders that he then inspired him. So you do it, but you need to have a commitment. That's where you're going to do it on a regular basis. So my commitment right now is to these beings of light, I'll be here every Monday. I will open my mouth and you can let your wisdom come through. And they're saying to me, good, good. We got a lot of things to talk about. Um, and you can do this too, but it takes consistency. So if you want to talk to Mother Mary, call on her. 
feel her vibration and her shift. And do this, the two of you, till you sense and feel that difference that comes to you. Now, some of you, you've probably got two, three, maybe four different advisors already. Maybe you want to call somebody in because now you want to build a company that has something to do with cars. Well, what about Henry Ford? What about the first guy who made the car? Maybe it'd be good to bring him in and say, hey, you know, I've got this crazy idea. It's going to shift all of car industry into the future. Come into my mastermind and help me. And you'll start to do it because I'm telling you, that is a natural psychic ability that all of us can do. And you're tapping into what I call the Akashic vibration. So I hope that you will try that. I wanted to once again let people know that we're not set up to take callers right now, but that process is coming. And I am basing this show on the fact that we're going to bring people to this show and we're going to talk about things that are bothering them. We're going to brainstorm solutions and we're going to give tools to move forward. So you can contact me at maggie at maggiechula.com. Send me an email. Go to my website, maggiechula.com, and you can see all the different messages from the masters there. There's a book there you'll find. It's called Open the Doorway to Your Soul. And on that page, you can either buy that book. That's a book I channeled from beautiful ascended masters and angels. There's also the original podcasts. So what I did was just open up on a radio show and I let these messages channel through. Some of them, a lot of them are 30, 35 minutes long. And if um, you want to do that plus read the chapter, that's wonderful. But what the masters are sharing is that we don't just want you to read this. We want you to understand what these tools are so you can use them. Okay, so next week we'll get a chance to really see how this works also because next week we're talking about healing the loss of a loved one. Every single one of us have loved and lost someone unless you're a little child and then it's possible you haven't yet. But these shows, I do want them to be for the family. Children know about loss. They do. We're going to share all no matter who you are, it is life affirming to receive confirmation that your loved one has retained their essence of life and you can communicate with them. They can communicate with you. The masters and I are going to mastermind on this so that we can share ways you can receive this confirmation and know this is a sign from your loved one. Now, I do have a person that I am in dialogue with who, um, maybe two, who are going to come on this show next week because this is a big topic and we're going to go through topics more than once. But um, next week is going to be the healing, the loss of a loved one. On this show, I just want to wrap up by saying when you're feeling this something new, something's happening, I want something different, just know this. This is a real thing that's happening. The vibrations of the earth have changed. It's happened. Okay, the world is changing. If you get a feeling that there's a certain place on the earth that you're worried about, maybe something's happening there energetically, you can see the earth. Put the earth, you know, we've seen signs of what that looks like. Put a vision or an image of that between your hands. Make sure your hands are about mm, shoulder length apart. And in between your hands, see a small earth rotating or as big as you want it to be. But see this earth in your mind. Once you've connected to your source, you want to see this earth spinning in your mind and send it love and healing. Mother Earth Gaia is a vibrational being. She exists. She can use all the good energy she can get, okay? Mother Nature is a vibrational energy who exists and has, they both support so much life that any amount of love and happiness, vibrational energy you want to give to them, go ahead. But just like with your children or your loved ones, it doesn't help to send worry. They've got worry enough, honestly. There's enough worry in this world we could stop right now and we'd all be fine, okay? Because worry, waste of your energy. What happens instead is notice what that worry is. Where is that happening within you? What's going on? But once you notice, then go, okay, I'm going to turn this switch on. Just go beep, switches on, switches up. Now I'm going to say, all right, from my soul's perspective, 
This is a chapter in its book. Let me see from my soul's perspective what is bothering me. Oh, I see. I see. I think the earth could use some help here because she's heating up over here. The ice is melting. You can find all kinds of ways to work through this. You can find all kinds of things to help you. Maybe in yours is that knowing that there's a tree nearby you that needs some water. Do yourself a favor. Find a way to give that tree some water. Or maybe you're going to say, you know, the animals around me, I would like to help them. Maybe I'll put out some food for them. Okay. Another really good way to help the earth is, you know, she's a female, right? Hey, Go on out there. Pick up some of the trash. Let's see what we can do to help her feel good again. Spruce her up. You got a little piece of land that's yours. Go go make contact with it. Go be happy with it. Go talk to the trees. All those things are going to help you understand how you have control. You have control. Unplug from the part of you that feels, I can't do it. I can't do it. I don't want to do this. And start to plug into the, yes, this is all new. Yes, I am creating something here. Yes, it's going to be better than anything I've ever had before because now I'm plugged into, we're connected, and I want what's best for all concerned. Yes, I will come back. So, mastermind with me. We're bringing solutions and possibilities to the world. We're sharing tools you can use here today. Mother Nature, Gaia, and I are going to be here. Come. Bye-bye.